Hello, welcome to part two of this live past life regression session with me, Steve Burgess, hypnotherapist and past life regression specialist. What we saw in part one was my client, Phil, who's a colleague and a friend, go through a past life which is connected to causing a phobia she has of deep water. It was an unpleasant past life where she went through the death and the rape as a young woman in order to release the energies that are causing the phobia in this lifetime. And one of the features of regression work is that we often go over and over through the same experience in a session to fully release the energies and the emotions from the past life in order to clear it completely and release its negative effects in this present lifetime. As you'll see, this whole process for Phil is now less intense. There is still some emotion there, but it's much less deep than it was in the first part of the recording. And she actually receives quite spontaneously some ancillary information, which she wasn't aware of before because the trauma was just too strong. She can feel the dust as she lays in the ground. She even gets her name in the past life. And you'll see her move through to a complete release and resolution of that past life. At the end of this past life experience, you'll hear Phil simply say, I'm fading. And what this means is that life is over. She moves out of the body fully into spirit and releases all of the negative effects that that past life has had upon her in this present lifetime. To conclude the session, Phil and I have a brief chat in which you'll hear her giving you her side of the story and how it was for her to be the client and to go through that trauma. If you'd like more information about my work as a regression therapist or about my books and recordings, then please check out the links in the bio below. I hope you found this introduction to past life regression insightful and interesting. Thanks for watching. Let's go back through that again with as much intensity as you can. This time it may be less intense than before. It may be just as intense. It may be more intense, Phil. Go with it as deeply as you can. As deeply as you can. Let your body move in any way. Make any sounds you need to make. Just be there in that horrible event. Out of control, helpless, scared, terrified. Shocked. And it's so shocking. It's as though you can't believe it. It's so wrong what he's doing. I feel so dead. I feel so dead. I feel so tense. You feel so tense. Yeah. Just let it come through. Let your body feel it. Is it everywhere in your body or is it centered in a part of your body? Is it everywhere? Yeah, okay. So let your body feel it as much as you can and keep moving through it. I know it's not pleasant, but just have the courage to go through it. I feel the heaviness of my tears on my face. I feel the heaviness of the tears. Just go with it. You're not like your sister. She enjoys it. That's horrible. Just lay back and relax. Keep moving through it. Just keep feeling it. Feel that terror. Dead. The dust. My head is hard. The ground is hard. 
the ground is hard. The ground is hard, yeah. Stones. Yeah. Just keep it going, keep moving through it. You'll never get away with it. It's okay. Stay with it, keep moving through it. Stabbing, yeah. You know, it's yeah. not just my throat. It's not just your throat. Okay, so he stabs you elsewhere. Yeah. Okay, that's horrible. My dress is black. Yeah. My blue dress. What's happening now? My name Helen. My name is Helen. Your name is Helen, okay. About how old are you, Phil? What would you guess? About forty. About twenty. Fourteen. Fourteen. I'm just a young woman. Have you passed through the death now, Phil, or are you still going through it? Going through. Say that again. Just switched off. You switched off. Or does it feel like you've left the body? I'm a bit. Moved into spirit. What's the feeling like now? I feel calm. Mm. Okay, there's a possibility you've disassociated in that experience because of the horror of it. But there's also a chance that you've actually moved through the, the death. If your subconscious feels that you've now moved through the death and moved into spirit, if you're in spirit now, after death, then that finger can raise all by itself. I'm still there. I'm still there. You get a sense of being in the water at this stage? Not yet. He's, he's picking me up now. From behind. Say that again, Phil. He's picking me up. He's picking you up. Okay. Behind, dragging yeah. me in. His arms are underneath my own uh -huh. armpits. And he's dragging me in. Okay. So he drags you in the water. Silly bitch. Calls me a silly bitch. If I hadn't resisted, if I'd been like my sister, it's all... 
He wasn't. He's annoyed. He's annoyed that it is that it's come to this. And what's happening now? It's walking away. Uh huh. Are you out of the body now? What a silly mistake. What's the feeling like inside you? That was a short life. Say that again, Phil. That was a short. It was a short life. life. It was a waste of a life as well, I think, wasn't it? What's the feeling like right now? Feeling at peace. Yeah. Let me ask you, Phil, now we've been through that that experience here. We've already worked on it previously, but we've now been through it at a deeper level today. In terms of the intensity of the experience, can you give me a score between 0 and 10 for the first time you went through it today? 10 being very high and 0, no feeling at all, no energy in it. What was the level of intensity the first time today? Eight or nine, so it was really very high. And what about the second time? What was the score the second time? It wasn't as high. Four. Give me a score. Four. About four. Okay, good. Phil, we're going to go back through it again. I'm guessing probably one last time. So any parts of it that feel flat or neutral, then just move through them. But any parts that still feel... Any, any intensity at all, and go into them as deeply as you can. I thought you liked me. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, that's awful. So again, just keep moving through. Any parts that feel intense, let your body feel them as much as you can. Parts that still feel neutral, just move through them. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna scream. Put his hands over my mouth. You try to scream, but he, he just doesn't let you. Yeah. He's annoyed. I feel the helplessness. Flick knife. Carries it with him. I feel it stinging. I feel it stinging. I'm in pain.
What's happening now? What are you aware of? Petticoats. The pain? Petticoats. Petticoats, yeah. Keep moving through it, Phil. Telling me I like it. No. Don't like it. What's happening? It's telling me I like it. Uh -huh. My sister. Mm -hmm. My mouth feels so dry. Yeah. So just feel that fear in your body as deeply as you can. It Whatever so remaining dry. energy, just feel it. I feel the horror of it, the unpleasantness of it. What are you aware of now? Is the part where he stabbed you or? He's telling me it's all my fault. He's telling me it's my fault. Telling you it's your fault. If you just laid back, if you just was like your sister. Yeah. Look what I've had to do. Look what I'm doing. You've made me do this to you. It's all your fault. If you just laid back like your sister. Okay. Why couldn't you be just like your sister? Yeah. Keep moving through it. I'm thinking of God. Okay. And I can see a crucifix in front of me. Mm hmm This earlier on before this before the murder happens. Yeah. Is it another time in the life? It's there. Or is it just coming to mind as you're being killed and dying? I'm asking for God help me. Okay. Up on my 
And what's happening now? Are you in the water yet? Or? Mm -hmm. Let me know when you feel that you've passed through into spirit again, Phil. Once you've moved out of the body, having died, and moved fully into spirit, just let me know. Until then, just stay with it. fading yeah okay 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 just let yourself move into spirit now then Phil just feel yourself letting the go letting go of the body letting the body go and moving fully into spirit What was the score that time in the intensity, Phil, between zero and ten? What would you guess? What does it feel like? Two. Two. Good, that's okay, good. Okay, now we're going to let that past life go. What I'm going to ask you to do is to just let it sort of go back into the past in a way and come away from it. And imagine as you're doing this, that you're letting go of all of the negative effects that that past life has had on you in this present lifetime. Negative effects especially, which are connected to causing uh, the fear of, of water, of dark, dark water or deep water, but also any other negative effects, any other blockages that it's caused you in your present lifetime. Imagine you're letting those go as well, so you can perhaps feel yourself feeling freer, and calmer, and easier, and perhaps lighter. So I'm not going to ask you to go into anything else in this session today. You've done a wonderful session. You've done well, it's very hard there, and I know that was very unpleasant, but at least you've gone through it, and you've released it, and that past life is now a thing of the past. And all of its negative effects now have just dissolved away from you. Imagine that as you're coming away from the past, you're coming back now into the present, into your body resting here in this room, on this day and this time, in this present lifetime. So just let go of any residual feelings from the past and just feel a sense of calmness and a sense of ease. I'm going to finish this session very shortly and I want you to feel a sense of calmness and a sense of ease as you do so. And what you'll find is that as a result of this session, the fear of dark water will be reduced, Phil. I don't know how much it will be reduced. It may be reduced just by a small amount. Or actually, you may feel in the coming days that we've made big inroads into that fear. And that you're actually feeling considerably less worried or scared about, the, about being near dark water or deep water. But let's thank you, Subconscious, for doing such a wonderful job. And what you'll find in future sessions is it just gets easier and easier to go into trance, easier and easier to let your subconscious work with that finger again, and easier and easier to let go of the stuff from the past. But I'm going to ask you to slowly start coming back now, please. Is that okay? So let me just count you from 1 to 10, Phil, with each number little by little come back to full awareness on the count of 10 and bring back good feelings with you. So when you're ready now, one, gently coming back to two, slowly coming up to three, more and more aware to four, gently up to five, all the way up to six, Little by little back to seven. Feel yourself. Maybe you can move a little bit. Fill, move your hands a little bit. Start to stretch. Take some deep breaths. All the way back to eight. 
all the way back to nine. And when you're ready, turn, let yourself have a good stretch, open your eyes, come all the way back and feel good now. Well done. Well done. How do you feel? Yeah, that was a big one, wasn't it? That was a big one. Yeah. So although we did some work on it in the previous session, obviously it was not fully cleared by any means. There was still a lot of energy in it. Um, and it's just a question of going back through it and, and working through and just releasing as best you can. But that that there was that side issue with the sister, wasn't there? I mean, that, that was very significant. I saw it in the barn. <clears throat> and it's funny because every time I went back, different things came through, mm. and different, I heard different things, felt yeah. different things. It's like you got more and more information each time, yeah. didn't you? Which is quite standard in regression. The more we go back, we often get more information. So yeah. And then I was taken to a barn, and I thought, is that my imagination? I was like, no. And I, and I thought. Maybe it's just my imagination, but I just kept turning back to the barn and I'm there and I'm watching, not perversely, but no. like what's going on here? Yeah. And she's laughing and I can still see her and the bells of straw and they're there and I'm here and there's the door behind me, like I've come in and intruded. And he's talking to her. And he's mentioning me. Mm. And that's why I think when I saw him the first time round, in the first regression, I knew I was in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Because our paths had crossed. Yes. And, and your sister, though, I didn't knew. tell you, did she? That I mean, there was that betrayal there. It was as if she, you know, they had sex, but she didn't tell you that he was coming for you. And, uh, I think she thought he was joking. Okay. Yeah. I don't think she took him seriously. Right. And I think he was a bit of a chancer that yeah. fancied his chances yeah. with me too. I had long hair, mousy brown colour. Mm. It was beautiful and long. And I think he just, he was up of that type. Yeah, he was a rogue. He was a rogue. Simple as, yeah. And he, I think he had a reputation. Yeah. And when I met him on the path that time, it was a crossroads. I'm walking this way and he's walking that way. And... There was no one around, and then suddenly someone comes along this way. It's like a few. Yeah, like so you escaped. With them. Yeah. Just got chained. Yeah. But yeah, I even got a name this time. Helen. Yeah. Helen. Yeah. Did it feel European or American? Or? I felt I was in America. Okay just reminded me of a little house on the prairie. Okay. But that kind of environment. Yes, yeah, yeah. You remember seeing the opening, you know, yeah. to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And lush fields and greenery and... Yeah. Sense of community and everybody knows everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And farmland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you feel now? Yeah. I feel calm. Say that again? I feel calm. Feel calm, good, good. But I feel... Well, that, that past life is released now. Almost certainly, yeah. without a shadow of a doubt, it's gone, it's released, and we've worked through it, and you won't have to go back into it again. And um, what you'll find as you process this over the next couple of days that its energies will continue to dissolve away and dissipate. Um, and you'll get to the stage where when you think about it, it'll just feel completely flat. Something's just come to my mind. 
Mm. But I can't share it here. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. When you ask about it, if there's anyone... The people. I, I, my sense is that your subconscious wanted to say yes, but it didn't want us to know that at the moment. Um, because so often the people in past lives are around us in this mm. lifetime. So uh, there is a possibility of that. Um, yeah. yeah. And <clears throat> excuse me, I think there are, you know, obviously there's the horror of the rape and the murder, but there is also that undercurrent of betrayal, which I think also connects to you in this lifetime in some way. Um, not necessarily connected to the fear of water, dark water, no. but just a, a betrayal issue. Mm. And so many people have betrayal issues uh, without realizing. So, yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Phil. You were wonderful. That was a magnificent regression session. Thank and you. Um, for those of you that have watched that, you've been uh, witness to a, a beautiful piece of therapy um, and privileged to actually experience a regression in that way. So this is relatively typical of a past life regression session. We go through traumas until they're released. It isn't fun therapy, but it's incredibly powerful. And as long as the subconscious says it's safe for us to do this, then it is safe for us to do this. And there will be people watching this who will be saying, well, you know, it wasn't very pleasant and does she have to go through that? But you're okay. So, you know, there's no serious after effects as long as it's done properly. And the main way that we do that is by repeating over and over, releasing the trauma until there's no energy on it. So there's still some more work to do though, Phil. We've got yeah. two more past lives to work through. And what we may find is that this past life we've just worked through is the big one. And the other two may not be too significant. Mm. Or it may be they've all got a, a, a serious level of intensity. Mm. But um, we can certainly get this phobia cured and released mm. without a shadow of a doubt. And it's just a question of doing more work and you gritting your teeth and, and going through it. But uh, this will definitely cure the phobia. So thank you for, and thank you subconscious for that wonderful piece of work. Thank you. Thanks for watching.